Hi, this is Pete Peterson with Stealth Health. Today I'm going to teach you and show you one of my most insanely healthy shakes. This is something that I do fairly often and I'll explain it as I go. But if you want uh, the nutritional and health benefits uh, and total fat, calorie count uh, and all of that, just click the link below uh, along with the recipe and you'll get some additional information. In addition, this is a shake that I call an anti Alzheimer's anti-diabetes uh, shake. Not that it will cure those things, but that it has some foods that uh, some scientists believe can help to prevent some of those things. And those were things that I was very concerned about. I had diabetes. Technically, I still have diabetes because I still have a strong reaction to sugar. If I uh, eat sugar uh, more than just a very, very minimal amount, uh, but I and no longer on any kind of medication. My A1C for the last five years has been between 4.8 and 5.2. Uh, feel great and uh, the way I eat and the way I exercise is one of the reasons, some of the main reasons why I feel so well. I was morbidly obese for over three decades and was just obese for most of my life and as I started losing the weight, uh, there were some other shakes and some other things I did for eating and I would eat a large breakfast, then a medium sized lunch and a, a very small dinner. But that became really difficult for me to maintain over a long period of time. And one of the things that I do fairly regularly is something called intermittent fasting. And I, this is a shake that I will drink. It's a very, very large shake. Uh, as I mentioned, it is incredibly healthy. Uh, but when I, when I drink this shake in the morning, I'll, I'll have this shake. I might have a couple pieces of toast uh, just because sometimes I like to chew something. And then that's it until the next morning and I'm done eating. It's because I'm a food addict and a binge eater. It's much easier for me to have a good sized breakfast and then just say I'm done and not eat anything else because later on, uh, for other reasons, and there's another video that uh, will be on the channel fairly soon about changing habits and changing the meaning of cues that will explain a little bit of this, but uh, when I'm tired or when I'm stressed, if I start to eat a little bit, it's hard for me to stop. And so this is a much better solution because I have the mindset, I've eaten and I'm done. And because of the combination of foods that I'm eating, they maintain me really, really well uh, through the whole day. If at the end of the day I feel like I'm a little bit hungry, I've reframed that and I just say, okay, if I'm a little bit hungry, that means I'm being successful and I'm in control, which is a wonderful thing. I, I'm going to start with two cups of water and the blender that I'm using today is a Ninja. We have a couple of different blenders. Uh, this is really a heavy duty blender and this particular shake, you need a bigger blender, you need a, a blender that's a little bit more heavy duty and so it may not be something that everybody can do but uh, I like the, the Ninja because I can put a lot of stuff in and just turn it on and uh, get everything blended up uh, including ice. Uh, the downside of this particular Ninja and, and I, I bet that they have other newer ones that are much better than this it doesn't really make it really super smooth. It's still just a little bit gritty. I don't mind that and so that's okay. But start with two cups of water. Then I'm putting in one cup of rolled oats. One scoop of protein. I actually prefer to use uh, pea protein, but it's a little more expensive and whey protein is also really good. I'm putting in one banana and I'm putting in two pieces of, of seaweed. I actually hate seaweed, but you can't taste it in this. I get my seaweed usually from Grocery Outlet. If they have it, it's really super cheap there. If they don't have it, I go to Winco, and they almost always have uh, seaweed for a pretty good price as well. So I'm putting in two pieces of uh, seaweed. I'm putting in one pod of cardamom and it's amazing but this one little pot I will taste in the shake. I'm putting in one quarter cup of dried cranberries. 
you really want to get uh, dried cranberries that don't have any sugar added or as little as possible. I get my dried cranberries from Winco and also the walnuts I get from Winco and that's a quarter cup of walnuts. I'm adding a third of a cup of stevia which I get at Walmart and that's generally the best uh, place for price that I found for the stevia. And then I'm putting in a half a cup of powdered milk and this is really amazing. A lot of people think of celery and they don't think well that there's much to celery. This is one stalk of celery and there's actually some really great nutrients in, in celery, celery, some great benefits uh, from eating celery. And two large carrots. I'm going to blend that just a little bit just to provide a little bit of room for the other ingredients. seen some of the other smoothies I usually edit out uh, most of the blending time now this is baking chocolate and there's four tablespoons of baking chocolate and I know that's an awful lot but it provides a really good chocolate taste this is one tablespoon of Cylon cinnamon I always use Cylon cinnamon it has a little bit more of a mellow taste if you use regular cinnamon you might want to use just a little bit less one of the reasons why I use Cylon cinnamon is because I use cinnamon so much and if you eat or, or like I do drink cinnamon in a, in a smoothie a lot, uh, the regular cinnamon, there's some scientists, some research that's indicated that it could become toxic if you have it in large amounts and because I uh, use cinnamon a lot, I go with the Cylon cinnamon. Now this will surprise a lot of people. This is one teaspoon of turmeric. Turmeric is one of those in incredible spices that has a lot of benefits uh, for cancer and for a lot of different things. Uh, turmeric is a spice that you really want to have in your diet uh, at least some of the time. It's a great anti-inflammatory. Putting that in. And then I have one tablespoon of virgin organic coconut oil. And I usually buy that online. You can get coconut oil locally but lots of time I can't get virgin organic and that's what I want and uh, there's one tablespoon of that I get from a, a company on online called Vitacost you might find find it for better prices in other places and the last ingredient that I'm going to add is ice and I'm going to actually fill this up all the way with ice you can't do that with a lot of blenders uh, because it will break the blender. And as I first started doing smoothies, I broke a couple of blenders and got into a lot of trouble from my wife for doing so. So I'll put that in. I'm going to blend it just a little bit, and then I'll add just a little bit more. This ends up being right about 10 cups and I will drink all of that for breakfast and like I said I'll probably have a couple pieces of toast and that'll be it for the day and it will hold me through the day uh, because of the combinations of foods it works out just absolutely fabulous uh, for me a lot of really good healthy complex carbohydrates there there's fruit there there's something from every part of my plate. I've got uh, whole grains, I've got fruit, I've got vegetables, 
I've got uh, protein and, and some berry. So I will just finish blending it up and then I will drink it. Uh, this is, it has a little bit different taste. It's, I won't say that it's as delicious as my sweet potato and apple smoothie or my pumpkin and apple smoothie or the uh, chocolate peanut butter smoothie. Uh, those are just really incredibly uh, delicious and those are the kinds of things that I can give to my grandkids and, and they will drink them and love them. Uh, this, not quite so much, but I still like it quite a bit and one of the things that's really important to me is I like how it makes me feel. I like that I can think clearly and, and function really well. I have the energy to go for long hikes and do all kinds of things that I couldn't years ago. And this is one of the reasons, uh, again, there's a lot of benefits from intermittent fasting. And you can learn more about that uh, through the website healthnutritionexercise.net. And you can get information on the, the recipe at the uh, link below and on the nutrition, nutritional value. So hope you enjoy it.